Welcome back guys, this is Doug with Basement Level Magic. I'm gonna die roll. Go ahead and play first. Mm. So we draw a swamp. This hand gets real, real good. But I think I'm gonna mulligan it. Yeah, and I'm actually happier with this one. <clears throat> I'll uh, we'll scry that to the bottom. Yeah, and our opponent kept his hand. So we'll see what we're up against here. Something red. Play Slaughter Drone or Sky Scour next turn, depending on what we draw. So both aggressive type decks, it looks like. Alright, Cyclone Sire is not the best draw for us here, but we'll go ahead and play a Sky Scour. Looks like he wants to race. I was thinking, do I want to just go ahead and sacrifice it? I think we'll take one hit. As I don't know what he's playing, but it looks like we're going to get it for four this turn. Yeah, he's he's an aggressive landfall deck, so we got to be a little careful about racing, especially without any colorless mana. I really should have played the Mortuary Mire last turn. I was thinking it might have some value, though. Um, yeah, because we could have other, otherwise we could have played two spells this turn and hit for a lot more damage. Since I don't have Colos, man, I'd rather he not see the Blinding Drone. I'm gonna go ahead and play the Slaughter Drone. So his attacks require that he have land. So I think that's the benefit for us to racing is that, you know, he's likely to eventually run out of lands, whereas <clears throat> we have almost no chance of running out of colorless spells. And the Cyclone Sire really holds things down. We take seven this turn. Oh, make that ten. Oh, no, oh, he's not attacking with everything. I guess, suppose he assumed I would block. Uh, probably wouldn't have. So if we draw a land, we play the Cyclone Sire, which we did. Still no colorless man is a bummer. And it's not colorless, also a bummer. Um, but I think we'll get in with both sky scourers. And just put the cyclone sire down. So we could potentially take four from the relentless hunter, but just depends how he attacks it also depends what we draw because we could play two colorless spells next turn and potentially hit back for a lot as well saddleback lugak
I think we'll just make the trade. And I think we'll want to use... I guess the Mortuary Mire is kind of... No longer good for much. Unfortunately, just another land. So we're in a bit of a tough spot, aren't we? I suppose we could have played the blinding drone. Hit for four. Uh, but without any colorless mana, there's not much point. <coughs> well, of course he hit a land every turn. <laughs> so we definitely have to block both. Uh, I think we're going to double block. Actually, how many times can he pump? Twice? So we can make it a 5-5? Five five? Yeah. So we're going to double block here, and then we can put the Sky Scour. We're sort of in top deck mode here, and we need some like serious removal. And not a red card. <laughs> Oh, I forgot I had a 1-1 one -one counter on it. I'm an idiot. I should have triple blocked it. Yeah, we'll go ahead and concede there. So, very aggressive deck. And his is better at it than mine. So I think we want to bring in all the control style stuff we have that we can afford to. And we can take out like some of the... Slaughter Drone's very good in this matchup. If we can get a colorless source, take out a Sky Scour, I don't even know if the Pathfinder is good enough. Um, probably we can do without and eh, negate. The Mist Intruder seems like it could go. Still at 15 creatures. Probably want to cut something from the three drop slot. Not that. Probably not that. Not that. Shrieker. I don't think we want to cut that either. So two more cuts. I guess we can cut the Anticipate. If we get the Jury Ends online, we're set. And... I feel like the uh, Cyclone Sire or the Kozlex Pathfinder are kind of our win conditions. Um, maybe we just cut the adverse conditions. Since he's going to be turning his thing sideways anyway, we shouldn't have to make him. Uh, seems okay. We need a colorless source or a red source. And then it's pretty good. We'll have a colorless source, uh, turn three. We'll get in for our one.
Get our drone online. Now we have some colorless mana to work with. Do need another swamp for our ruinous path, though. Touch of the void, sure. Unfortunately, missing our land drop. Uh, yeah, I suppose if he stalls at all, I guess we want to get a little more damage in. Plus, if we have to, we can clutch a currents to give us some time. Well, the Obligator is definitely not something I want to bounce. Oh, well, he doesn't have colorless mana, so I guess it's not that big a deal. Sure, we'll kill it. Much less willing to race this game. I guess there's no reason to do that. Pardon me. So I guess he gets in for four here. I think we're just gonna get in for our two and go about our merry way. So I think we want to just bounce this thing. Get in for our one point of damage. And then we still have a ruinous path to take care of something else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stack the tokens on that uh, wall. That's fine with me. Shrieker's actually not bad at all. So do I take three from the Saddleback Legac or not, I guess is the question. The 
second saddleback. So I guess we know where the green cards went. Although to be fair, we did see one and couldn't couldn't take it. Uh, we're not attacking on the ground anyway, so I'm fine with any trades on the ground. Uh, Blighted Fen, not so good here. It's a colorless source, um, but as long as our opponent has his Falcon Predator on board, not a lot of reason for us to use the ability. I think we just hang on to the uh, Ruinous Path for a bigger threat. Uh, because either way I can't get through on the ground if I tap with the blinding drone. I'd rather just tap something on his turn. And then possibly tap again on my turn to attack. A third Saddleback Legac. That's awesome. Tap that thing down for sure. <clears throat> Hedron Crawler's not bad. A red mana source would be even better. But I suppose at this point our win condition is doing stuff in the air, so. Uh, now I'm contemplating if I want to ruin his path. Probably the wall. But I'm not sure if that does enough for us. Otherwise, I'm probably tapping down the 4-2 and what? Blocking the land on the saddleback? So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I actually can awaken Rona's path next turn. Maybe I should have done that this turn. Yeah, we'll wait. Which means I cannot block with the land. Or don't want to block with the land. <coughs> Honestly, probably just go ahead and ruin his path with that. So now I don't have to tap the land. That's nice. Hmm. So I can still tap something down. Prevent me from taking 
Well, actually, yeah, that was probably incorrect. I should I should have left it up. He wouldn't have been able to attack in to a seven seven anyway. Jeez. All the lands. Yeah, there's not much chance of me attacking, right? Yeah, so I attack so I tap down the wall, attack with the island. All he has to block is the Andu Great Horn, but he can just not block. Take the seven. Playing like twenty lands. I'd rather kill the first striker, given the option. All right, opponent decides not to attack. I like it. I think that's our only real play. We take care of a couple more threats and I think we're gonna be okay, but... I wouldn't mind drawing another containment membrane. I suppose I could have waited till end step to tap something, since he probably isn't gonna. Yeah. I guess it would have been safer. <laughs> Second Jorian I can't use. He's pretty close to just attacking with both, I think. He's one more creature and I think he'll start doing it. Perhaps my mana base is a bit greedy. Yeah, I imagine next turn we'll see an attack. Cyclone Sire is a pretty good draw. Another slider. So we put it off by one turn by playing another creature. Uh, but he really needs to hold on to a land as well. Uh, we could probably start attacking with the slaughter drone next turn. Let's see if he's willing to trade it.
Yeah, we're getting close. <laughs> He's contemplating. Oh, waste. Imagine if he plays a land, we're going to see an attack. <laughs> well, that would be nice if I could play it. That would change things significantly. Should see an attack here. Nope. Wow. That doesn't do anything. Maybe he's on the math. I haven't done the math, so I don't know what happens if we take an attack. My gut says we still are fine and we just take like three. He's got four attackers all at three power. We have three blockers. We actually eat two of them. Not good for him, really. I imagine we eat the land and the I don't know the land and the McKinney slide runner probably. Two, and then I can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So six, so I can do three damage to two creatures. Let's see what he blocks with. Should be able to clear most of the board here if he blocks. Huh. If he doesn't block, we'll just go ahead and choose him and a McKinney slide runner. And finish him off. Alright. So we are back again to the sideboard. What else do we want to play here? I mean, I think these two cards are pretty greedy. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have them in the deck. They're just so powerful if you can get them going. Uh, the Fall of the Titans makes sense as a splash, as you can see from that last round. Um, so, I mean, we could even take out the Jory Ends, put in another 
adverse conditions and a sky scourer even a tar snare would have actually been pretty good there actually the warping whale <laughs> doesn't look too bad against him either Ah, so we run it back. I wish you could save alternate versions of your deck like you can in uh, the sealed leagues. So you can just quickly load them, like build them at the beginning. Like this is my aggressive build and this is my uh, build versus aggressive or something, you know, or control versus tempo or whatever Would actually be kind of a cool feature And clearly it's already in so it wouldn't be too hard for them to add it. I wouldn't think So we just need to draw our Ruins of Orin Reef this game, and I think we can get the win. Fly over the top. So this is a mulligan. Um, geez, probably should also be a mulligan. Yeah, I guess we'll keep this. And anything that's not a land goes to the bottom. I mean, really, this is a four drop. Good news is, any land and our ruination guides online. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I might even play the Bearer of Silence next turn. Yeah, that doesn't make much sense, though, does it? Probably take three here. And I'm happy to see him use that. Ooh. So we are going to play the Ruination. Oh no. Comes into play tapped. We're not going to play anything. I should have played it last turn. Or play the Unknown Shores. Taking three more. Possibly more than that. Yep, four more. <coughs> I guess it sort of works out. Take seven. Slaughter drone. I think we need to slow him down a bit. Uh, until we get a, either a black mana or one more mana of any other color. 
Although we can play a solder drone and make it a 3 3. I think we're just going to Titan's Presence. What did I do wrong? Oh, jeez. I thought it did damage. So that was a waste of a turn. So we'll try and trade. So I'll get the Cyclone Sire online. Our opponent F6 is interesting. All right, so I think we're in good shape. That's not even bad either. Uh, but let's take care of his board. Sadly, with one more mana, or if we'd had a swamp, we could have also put a counter on it, but oh well. Pun plays a land. And a 5-5, five, five. all right. So we want to play, do we want to play Clutch of Currents? Mm, this is interesting. Do we want to play Clutch of Currents and Awaken? Or do we want to play the Jorian and the Clutch of Currents? I think we need a card here. Sadly, we can't cast this one. That's okay. And this thing can't block, but it is a flyer. So we want to go ahead and... Get in in the air. This actually might work out. So 
So if I do, I need to do two more damage to it and two to him. One, two, yeah, I can do it exactly. Can we do it? Hopefully we can play two spells this turn. Uh, we can't. That's okay. So he needs a second creature this turn, or he's dead next turn. So six, one, two, three, four, five, six, exactly. That's a bummer. So he has to block both. So if he attacks now, again, he's dead next turn. And I have plenty of mana to make at least three things not be able to block. He needs another creature. So we'll see what his last card is. Um, All right, guys, that's the match. Thanks for watching. This has been Doug with Basement Level Magic. It was kind of a tight one. Uh, we almost ran out of time, but we got there. So we'll be back for round two. Thanks for watching. This has been Doug with Basement Level Magic.